Fort Leavenworth Railroad Company v. Lowe, 1885. After the acquisition of the Louisiana Purchase in 1803, the federal government created the Fort Leavenworth Military Reservation. When Congress admitted Kansas into the Union, it failed to specify exclusive jurisdiction over the military reservation. This meant that the federal government had only ordinary rights over the property. In 1875, Kansas ceded Fort Leavenworth to the federal government, but retained the right to tax railroads, bridges, and corporations located within the reservation. Soon after, Kansas imposed a property tax on the Fort Leavenworth Railroad Company that operated within the reservation. The company paid the tax, but filed suit in federal court on the grounds that a state could not tax within a federal enclave. The case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a unanimous decision, the Supreme Court ruled the federal government only has exclusive jurisdiction over lands actually purchased by the federal government. Since this land was a gift from France, Kansas had authority to reserve jurisdiction that did not conflict with federal purposes. Since the railroad was a private entity, Kansas had the ability to impose a tax. Finally, Kansas never fully ceded all jurisdiction over the territory after becoming a state. Therefore, it had some jurisdiction within the federal enclave.